We're excited. Uh, we got mm. Adam and Jamie, hosts of uh, Mythbusters, in the studio. One of whom has just knocked off 90% of a uh, 4 and 20 pie. <laughs> Hang on, make that 100%. <laughs> uh, welcome, guys. It's just a pleasure to have you here. Thank I'm you. I'm going to ask you to give a food review right now with your mouth full of meat pie. Oh, those things are fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Peter's got a, a question about a sport that you're probably not familiar with, but it's an excellent question. Peter? Good morning. Um, yes, I'd like you to explode a myth, a myth for me, and that is that shining one side of a cricket ball helps it swing. What happens uh, in uh, cricket uh, that, that bowlers will yeah, shine, shine one side of one the, side of the ball, ball in now, order to make it swing? Does it or does it not make the ball swing? I can't see it making as much difference as... The, I mean, the cricket ball has that single uh, equ equatorial seam and the, the, the pitcher affects its, uh, affects its trajectory by the spin, yeah. that seam is going to have so much more of an effect than any texture on the leather. Rowan? Yeah, good morning, gents. I was caught in the rain with my cousin one time, and his theory was that if we walked the same distance, we would get less wet than if we ran. Yes. Hey, they, hey, they just nodded to each other. Well, this. Yeah, we, we tested that very thoroughly. We that believe. was a very early story we did back in, yeah, 2003. Yeah. yeah. And what's the answer? Well, uh, the the interesting thing is that it, it, when you think about it, if you move quickly through downpouring rain, you're going to collect all of the stuff that is in front of you. Right. So, like, as if you, well as what's falling on top of yeah, you. Yeah. Well, well, you may be reducing the amount that's falling on top of you if you're, <laughs> you know, because you're moving so quickly. But if you think of a, a column. Uh, of of uh, you moving forward, you're collecting all of that rain and that that would fit in that column, and uh, so running can actually collect more than walking. Even and, even but, though you're you're exposed to it for less time, it's true. And we found well, we found that given rain being, if the rain is constant, uh, and the uh, if the rain is constant, we found that walking is better than running over a distance of a hundred feet, uh, thirty meters. Um, Michael has a question, Michael. Uh, good morning, boys. Welcome to Australia. Um, does anybody? I've watched the show, and you go to a, a great lengths to protect people. But does anybody ever get hurt doing some of this stuff? Um, all the time, but uh, so far it's all cuts and bruises. The worst accident that we've, or the worst injuries we've had on the show to date, have been broken fingers from ha handling the rather heavy safety panels we use, the, the blast panels. <laughs> so I broke my finger on one last October. You had a rather nasty fall from a running machine during the episode. Ah, uh... uh, yeah, but all I broke there was my watch <laughs> and my dignity. 